3D Endo software takes you step-by-step -step through the treatment planning process. In step number two, you'll isolate the tooth in question. Once you've identified the tooth you're going to evaluate, a semi-transparent blue box will appear in the first viewing window. Click and hold to drag this new box over the tooth of interest. Use the rotation icon to orient this box appropriately for the tooth in question. Expand the size of the box as needed. Click, hold, and drag first in one direction, then the other. Next, you can click on the bottom window to adjust the box there to include our tooth. Each corner can be moved independently. In the right side window, you can see how the tooth is being extracted from the other anatomy. Fine-tune each corner by clicking and holding and moving each corner of the box individually. As you are fine-tuning the box, it's a good idea to scroll through the slices to make certain that you have all of your areas of interest. Check that right side window to make certain that you're not cutting off any parts of the tooth. Confirm that you include the full crown in the isolated area. It's important to note here that you do not want to include any portion of the opposing teeth. If a tooth in the opposite arch is within the isolation zone, you may have difficulty when you get to the access determination step. When you're happy with your isolation, you're ready to click the red Continue button.